Yay, Star Trek 10 minute review starting now. Yay, it's terrible, isn't it? I've got, I've missed the first, I mean, I haven't missed, I've watched them, but I haven't kind of been doing any reviews and stuff on the Star Trek because it's just started. And, um, the fifth episode was that episode where it's like, now we're getting into the series. Now we're getting into the show. All the characters are established. Love them or hate them. And, um, but they're there now and we know who they are. And this is the first storyline, like the kind of first standalone episode in, uh, in this, in the show. And, um, it was really good. Um, you had the conflict with the Tartaroid. You know, you had the really bad captaining of the second officer. See, <clears throat> as I was going, as I was watching it, I was just comparing it in my head to the old Star Treks and thinking, and the, and everyone's really excited that they dropped an F-bomb in Star Trek. And I'm like, just going back, imagining what it would be like, listening, imagining Captain Kirk going, fuck yeah, or like C C Commander Riker going, this is so fucking cool, <laughs> you know, but like, it's... Current year and um, fucking everything is 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 gonna be like so cool now and and edgy and it's let edgy Star Trek and it's just fucking shit but it's good at the same time because it's just got some good points and it had the um, Max whatever the guy the 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 pat the peddler from the original series whatever his name is you'll regret ever messing with me Captain. <laughs> So that was cool. Um, nice little uh, Easter eggs, I think they're called. Uh, pardon me. Anyway. Um, Michael Burns stopped being so annoying. She started to be a little bit more relatable, I suppose. Um... Oh, I should do some work on iDubs while I'm here as well. I haven't got any. Oh, maybe I should. Maybe I should do something else. Oh, there's a skin colour. Here we go. So, yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, the Tartaroid got returned to space and flew away. And um, I just kind of miss the the original series. I know that this is set... You know, this series would have been so cool, yeah? This is how I would have blue-skied this series if I'd have made it. It's just simply changed one or two bits. Set it in the future. Use the Klingon past, right? Because there was an episode of um, the original series where they went... Uh, uh, the TNG, where they went back in time and they met... Klingons from the original series and Worf was like we don't like to talk about what happened and um then there's the series in the TNG when Worf goes reverts back to an earlier state a primitive more primitive state of Klingon biology and set it in the future make it that the Klingon empire suddenly and for absolutely no reason just decided to close its borders shut down everything and then there was this Gap and the Romulans are trying to find out what's going on in the Klingon homeworld, and so is the Federation. But a hundred years have passed, and the Klingons haven't been seen or heard from in a hundred years. And then they come out and they've evolved. You know, the Klingons have gone into a state of evolution and they've now evolved into these current Klingons. That would have just been so much better continuity wise. It just would have been like, wow, so you know, every thousand years the Klingons go into this kind of regenerative evolutionary state of and and they come out even more evolved more brutal and because they've evolved they've lost all of their kind of you know um things with the federation that they built up and now they want war again because they've evolved into a more warlike species um you know and that would have been fantastic and it would have been set in the future so all of the technology would have made sense and all of the characters would have made a little bit more sense and everything just would have made just, just sense. <clears throat> Instead of setting it in the past, putting it comparison to like, you know, the next greatest captain is going to be Captain Kirk. Um, the Section 9 theory as well, that's a really good theory. 
I like that, or the Mirrorverse theory, that this is the Mirrorverse and that the real Prime Universe is actually on the other side of that mirror that we saw in this episode. And if you go into that episode, he's smiling and stuff like that, because in that episode, everything's like happy and brilliant and everyone's like cool with each other. And it's more like TNG or TOS. And this is the Mirror Universe. That would that's that's kind of cool as well. But this continuity sort of timeline, it just would have made it just would have been better. If they'd have just carried on. Because then you could have brought in Romulans again. You could have brought in all of the other races. You could have brought back the Dominion. You could have brought brought in the Borg. You could have brought all of the other Star Trek race species in. You could have just evolved them. And that's it. You could have made the Klingons evolve. Rather than saying at some point the Klingons look like this. And then at some point they look like this. And then at some point they look, It just... In my mind, I think time-wise it would have been better. If they'd have done that. The Klingon evol evolution theory. And, um, uh, yeah, I mean, happy ending, good, good, good episode, little episode, it was, you know, and, uh, it, yeah, it was good, it was a good episode, and it was good, um, fifth episode, um, still kind of pissed off with the kind of try-hard attitude of the show, of dropping the F-bomb because of just it being cool, um, but yeah, I mean, that's life, I suppose. This chalk is a bit of shit. Um, uh, what else? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's really all I've got to say about it, to be honest. Um, I, I hope that it carries on going like this. Um, it'd be nice. would be very nice to have a bit more um standalone character development i had hope that they'd again if this had been set in the future i feel like they would have made contact with the tartaroid and i think that probably that's one of the reasons why they didn't because it the ethical um concerns but they could have just made it a section nine ship and then they that would have made it made sense as well instead of going oh well it's in the past and it was a time of war with the klingons and that's why they didn't try to make contact with the tartaroid that's why they didn't try to communicate with it um you know i feel like it would have been brilliant if the tartaroid had gotten its own part of the ship they'd have figured out oh it's a sentient being and it's trying to communicate not just with us but the universe as well on a larger scale, um, let's just clear out this deck and give it its own thing and then it communicates psychically with the crew and it becomes a part of the crew and it creates another part of the Star Trek mythos that not every fucking creature has to be a, a humanoid with two arms and two legs and, you know, computers in their brain. Some perhaps are more evolved and have this psychic ability and that would be brilliant, you know, and have a, you know... Maybe even have like a gaseous creature, you know, like different species. And, and, and it's just it just proves to the limitations of the human imagination in Star Trek, where species still have to be humanoid for them to be species. And they don't give in their own, you know, part of the thing. And it would be great if if there was like a gaseous uh, species that was part of the crew that would just kind of like fly around the ship kind of like a cloud or something like that would be cool, but it was like just the ensign, you know, or something like that. Um, you know, or like a a spider, robotic spider, something like that. Just adding more variety, and it would have been really cool if Michael Burnham and the Tartaroid were both kind of like outsiders, and the Tartaroid's like, oh, so how are you? And they play chess together or something like that. Make it really cool. But no, he's gone back to the mycelium webway, and... She's, you know, going to be doing injection, injecting herself with drugs to <laughs> subtle undertones of drug use in uh, in Star Trek now. Subtle. So, yeah, let's um see what it's going to be like uh, next week. Be should be really cool. Really looking forward to, to the next episode, even though I hate the series so far. It's Star Trek and Star Trek is yay. And I don't even like the original. The Enterprise. Anyway, I mean, Enterprise, the, the series. <laughs> okay. All right, then. 
Bye bye, my lovelies. Mwah, mwah, mwah. See you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe, etc. Bye.